I just finished this one. Yeah. Fucking. This one looks pretty sedate for you, bro. Oh, it's her ride, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody, um, I chucked this at the start of this video. I just slipped this in. Uh, the bro fucking just, um, he just messaged me and said, yo, I know you do hip hop. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty pedantic when it comes to fucking like listening to hip hop. It's just me. I'm a fucking, I just love 90s grimy, dirty beats. And then, um, but yeah, there's a lot of new stuff that's come out in the last few years that I like as well, and it's coming out now. But anyway, uh, he sent me a link for this dude, uh, New Zealand hip hop. Now I'm real again when it comes to New Zealand hip hop. It's like it's hard. I, I find that there's sometimes there's just something of a person's style. Yeah, it's just me. There's something in there, like there's just something in there. I'm like, oh man, this. That just wasn't there. This be fucking out the gate. But yeah, he sent me a link to this dude, uh, Mellow Downs, uh, M E L O D O W N Z. Fucking hell. Is it? I think it's basically. Yeah, Mellow Downs. Give it a jam. Yo! <laughs> fucking on. Uh, so yeah, go over there. If you're into hip hop, sub up to it. Uh, like the videos, play them all. And it's, it's cool because so far, his style's different for every song. It's not like, again, like a lot of New Zealand hip hop artists, they have a technique and a style, and it sounds the same for every song. And you, if you're into music and into hip hop, you, yeah, it's it's a fucking hard thing to get into, especially in New Zealand, because we just have something about our accents and shit. Um, but yeah, so far, fucking every every song is like fucking killer. So I'm up to like, I think third song full song so definitely go over there check him out m-e-l-o-d-o-w-n-z mellow downs here on youtube uh, i reckon this, this is what the shit should be about like you know bro send you fucking links you go check them out and we should plug them we should always plug it like we do like mad Seven, and rx crazy and fucking you know shed 62 um you got sir rota you got charlie you got everyone else. Um, okay, there's probably a couple other cats I'm missing out. I'm fucking very sorry. But you definitely, uh, we should be plugging all one another because we've all got something different to give. And everyone knows what well, is my channel. When we do lives, we go out totally out of subject. But anyway, again, that's what this start off is. Go check out that dude's fucking um, YouTube channel. Play his beats. Fucking sick. You need to be subbing out too. Subs sounds fucking crisp. So yeah, Mellow Downs, M E L O W O. I just fucked it up. M E L O D O W N Z. <laughs> it's fucked because in my head I'm trying to look at the letter W. Play it. Thank me later. That's if you're into fucking hip hop and yeah, and it's fucking sick. Just reminds me of Four Corners and all those cats like from back in the day. Like the Septicons, yeah, they're alright, but I still reckon uh, Four Corners beat them hands down for Moody Hunter. But you anyway, know, check it out. This is my little plug for the start of this video. Now let's get into this mother trucker, eh? Joy! Pow! Okay, what's up? Fuck, it's funny, me fucking. Like, where are you supposed to look anyway, by the way, when you film like this? Do you look there? Or do you look over there? What do you have there? Oh, there, because fuck, it's nagging. Anyway, I haven't filmed much about um, any more progress on this, on the K, because it's just chopping up shit. It's a fucking headache. So we'll have a look at what has happened. I'm finally, motherfucking finally, oh, finally got the cross member all off. So, yeah. Thanks, Steve. Motherfucker. Anyway, this is the mess I'm left this is everything from just chopping just trying to get those fucking bits off some of it was one side was easy the rest of it was like fuck like, but look this is fucking tin it's funny how all that was holding all that up like people were like oh you should do this and this even messaging me on the key page like oh you should do this if you're doing that front it's like yo look, look what was holding up before like Tin. Right, coke cans. 
<laughs> so I'm, I'm sure my setup will be perfectly fine. Uh, thanks to the bro who came around yesterday, he's unfortunately leaving the area code. Stink, dude. But uh, yeah, it was one dumb thing that I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And he's like, well, why don't you just do this? So that's going to happen. So that's me. Uh, so that's going to be my, my bottom bar along there. I'll clean it all up. Don't worry. Don't get all upset. It's rusty. Um, and then, yeah, I think, as you can see, I started doing shit in here because I'm now waiting for the rest. So again, I think I mentioned another video. I'm going to go buy some bungee and then make my new um, brake lines. Just tidy them up. Look at them. Fucking boy. Um, so yeah, I'll go make, go get that, make that all nice, figure out where I'm going to stash it. Um, as I said, I could try, I could put it all for inside. Actually, no, I'm going to put it outside because I freaking did the RX-8 side and what a oh, fucking asshole thing that was. So, you know, I'll put it back in there. Uh, another thing that I'm doing, so yeah, this is the call out. I'm just going to try and bolt it all up. So this is what I'll do, I'll bolt the whole thing up, and then um, I'll just make sure, you know, where it's going to sit there and there, this is the flat bit in here, just make sure I've got all that right, no, I sure it heaps of fucking room, you know, because one rail goes out there, and one rail goes out like this, uh, it's just how it was. Um, so yeah, the width between here and here is bang on 73, so that is fucking good. Happy days. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to end up welding this straight to here. I'm just going to weld straight to it. Don't need plates, don't need that crap. Just straight to the fucking boogie down productions. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to rip all the stickers off. And I think I'll paint strip the whole engine bay. Um, I won't do up there because I can't be bothered. I'm so lazy. I'll do the rest. Just paint strip it and stuff and just get it so it all looks like the best deal. Um, one thing I have started though is my patina ring. So I'm doing it this way. Um, what I'm using is paint stripper. So I get that big bubbly fucked up effect, that's the effect I want. You know, so I'll scrape heaps of it off, uh, like we've done here. So I'll scrape it off, and then I'll leave bits like that, you know, so the stickers are going to stay there, and see what happens if the paint goes pretty hard once it's sealed again. Um, see, so, yeah, so I've put it in there, just distort all that up, um, and that's what I'll do. Just so it just looks like it's fucked. So yeah, the roof's all working now, so hopefully it'll be all bubbly. Uh, so this is just for the in here. And all the years of paint alone for myself in the actual original car. Um, that's probably going to use so much. But gee, look, fuck, I painted it black and like it camoed and uh, layers. Many layers of paint. Anyway, I'm only going to go to here um, and then inwards. But you can see the original colour was orange. That was red in some places. Uh, but yeah, the old girl. So that's basically what I'll do. So that's it. So yeah, once we got all the Ryko shit off, uh, I'll do more of it, and then put the other sign writing on, and work on there. No happy days. Because, um, when you're waiting for other shit, you start fucking around with other shit that you shouldn't have to fuck with, but start removing the stickers off there. So yeah. And I might, what I'll do is do what I've done with the RX-8 and have all my electrics all installed inside the car because the problem with them in here is heaps of times I ran no bonnet 
And some of the expensive stuff that was bolted there was all fucking getting fucked at the back. And it's not what you want. Especially when you're running ECUs and shit. So if you can run shit inside the car. And with the RX-8, I made custom, made all my own uh, leads in that, so they're all long now. So they can all just go inside the fucking car. They can all go in there if they want. Hey. Yeah. I might just do that and bolt them to the back of this panel. Yeah, there's heaps of fucking electric stuff. I can, well, it's not much, but there's, to me it's heaps. I still gotta cut that, fix that up. Fuck, I was vicious when I was pulling this apart, and you go, fuck, but yeah, it's all good. Still trying to get all the paint off that. But yeah, we'll see how we go. We've already got rust holes, so the whole patina thing's fucking working. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is, for years, it's always fucking rusted there. Always. And it's fucked here too. So, the whole lot of fucking resin that was poured in there. I don't know why I fucking did it. I think it's, yeah, that's all fucked in there too. But, yeah, it's good. This is coming out. Still needs bigger, bigger fucking patches. Like it needs to look like it's fucked. The shit thing is, I can't do here. Because I actually um, bogged all that. I could probably, I can do it on there maybe. Oh, I'll just leave all the tire slap, do that, because I'm going to leave all that. You can see it'll be welded all on. So these actually made out of, um, fuck are they? Um, I think Honda City front and Honda Accord guards. And I made them together to make that big fucking pumped thing. Now I did that because I had the diff set up. So I run, uh, Zero offset, 8 inch on the rear, 8 inch all round actually, zero offset, it just needed it, that clearance, um, and I can run 17s, all the way up to 18 on the back if I wanted all the way around, but yeah, it's funny because when we originally set this car up it used to be down to here, and for some reason it's come back up, so either something snapped underneath, Ah, oh, nah. So yeah, so it's all leaf, and it's hard-tailed, so we've put solid arms in the back. There's a lazy window wiper fucking hanging out of there. Uh, the fake drop tank, I have to re-bolt in because it's getting a little bit fucking floppy goose. But, oh yeah, she's really floppy. But yeah, so what this actually does also is actually a scoop. So all the back of it is open and the radiator sits in here and um, it scoops cold air. Well, usually it's cold uh, from the bottom because there's no exhaust around here. It sucks it all the air in, up through the radiator and then comes out right at the back. So that's what the other cool setup about this is. Um, so, you know, so we got dialed in, or we did have dialed in uh, two and a half minutes of doing skids with this setup because the RX8 doesn't have much flow and we're, we're pushing to get two minutes because um, there's actually no flow for the radiator in the boot. <sighs> but yeah. Anyway, I need to, shush. I need to figure out if I'm going to leave. Big Ryko on there, but the performance has to come off because uh, they don't do that anymore, I don't think. And I need to hand paint old school autos through there, and I need to put heaps more patina through, heaps more. So uh, me and Annie have got a solution that we use as well. Um, basically, we'll spray all into the bare metal parts, and it will within fucking instantly, pretty much starts rusting and what I like about it is it runs so it'll put big run, it'll put big stains all the way down and everything <laughs> so that's why I want to get as much on there as I can um, I was gonna burn it too put burn marks through everything uh, I might still do that I'll see how I go but I'm basically not even gonna clean it I don't think I'm gonna leave all the dust on it and when it rains outside I'll let it rain whatever and it can naturally wash it off um, yeah, I actually don't want it to be 
I want to look as rough as fuck as it can get, you know? And then your baby be like the, the semi nice part. Um, but yeah, I just want this to look like, you know, it's been stored for like fucking years, even though it's been two years. I want it to look like it's just been corroded somewhere. Ah, so yeah. Anyway, I'll bring you back to work. Let's stop fucking around on this. Wait for the everything else to be done. I'm itching for Saturday because. As soon as Saturday comes, uh, the bro said all the other stuff's going to come. Uh, then I have to drop it off, so then probably another couple of weeks. But we're just deciding what we're doing with the RX-8. Um, I don't know what to do with the fucking RX-8. Yeah, I was even going to raffle it. or But then I'm like, fucking, who's going to buy 100 tickets? Like 100 people are going to buy tickets for a fucking rolling body. As someone said, $25 each, it'll cover costs, it'll just cover all the extra shit that's been fucking put in that car. Um, you know, and it's fucking sick paint job and shit, and I'll leave all the sponsor logos on there, I'll leave it how it is. And someone can just fucking build. It's honestly a sick fucking platform for a burnout car. I, I think, honestly, just with the horsepower that we're running that thing, and then from the weekend, Fuck, have you got like another 150 horse chucked in there, so 450 horsepower on that fucking motherfucking thing? It will be a competitive, highly competitive chassis. A highly competitive car for someone. Um, way better than a baddie motor. I mean, a baddie fucking setup, whatever. That setup, you, you must run 18s, because we've, we've done all the maths. I reckon it will... Actually, if it's got any setup in it, whether it's Rota or V8 or fucking like 2J or whatever, it will. It'll be up there as one of the chassis to beat in the burnout scene in New Zealand and probably even, probably if it has some more horsepower, probably if you're looking at 600, very, I, I, I fucking think, a very competitive car in Australia. But you must run the setup that we've set it up with. Um, you know, just with the wheel combo and stuff like that. Because fuck, like... <laughs> yeah, I've only skidded in it, like, probably six times in two years since I've built it. And we just started, just dialed it in. So, like, this weekend was like, fuck, right, we moved to 18s, instead of crappy 17s, and then straight out the bat was like, fuck, this thing is, like, actually on fire. Um, so, yeah, it's a fucking mean chassis, and it's, like... I've done all the hard work for someone. So yeah, we're just going to decide soon what I'm going to do. So there will either be a post on Facebook or on here what I'm going to do. Um, or if I'm just going to flick it off fucking dirt cheap because it needs to go. I need it sold prior to pulling everything out. So I need someone to say, look, fuck, here's the money. Once you put the engine out, I'll come picking it up. That's what needs to happen. I just don't see 100 people paying $25 a ticket for that fucking thing. Um, but yeah, it needs, it needs to go. <laughs> it can't be in our drive and that. It's, it's one of those things in my mind now where I'm like, okay, the K is getting built. That needs to definitely be gone by the time I put all the running gear out. So someone's like, boom, come take it. But yeah. Bit of a buck and wild about the RX-8. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, back to this. Between the time, as I said, we've used paint stripper and I've just fucking smashed it on. And I'll figure out what I'm going to do with all this fuck performance. I feel how yeah, the performance has to come off. And I'll just go from there. And it's smash some more fucking patina on this mother trucker, eh? Yow! But anyway, thank you. Thank you everyone for watching. It means a lot to us. If you want to watch my boring shit. And it shows that we also build cars. Besides custom paint. So yeah. Ah, oh, I've got a lot of shit on there too. I'll wait until that's on there. But anyway, continue my madness. Okay, so another effect I'm doing is um, bro torching. So what I'm doing is melting some of the paint places. You see, I've done that pen right sticker and stuff. Just wanted that to look like, you know. Gee, just so areas just look distorted and burnt up and shit. 
So the mirror is going to stop that. See, it's all bubbling and. Here is so yeah, you see what I was doing before burning it. I ran up in my again. So, this is how it all is. It's funny, it's funny. It's starting to um, the steel is already getting to the oxygen and rusting out. So, yeah, so yeah, big burn marks. Tina burn marks. So I might do some more of that. Because I want it to be hard out. It's all through there and that. And all that's all fucked. Hey. Okay. So you kind of see my whoops. My madness. So yeah, I just want it to just look like it's just come out of hell. <laughs> really. So yeah, what I'll do down here is I'll do a little bit more around this logo. Um, I've got this on low. Just got to get it down to the right temperature and blister that up. <laughs> See what I mean? No effect to just I can't even film it right here is am I? <laughs> Couple of good bits that are fine. Yeah. There we go. This dude on uh, Alive was like, oh, you do this with a torch, and oh, I was like, yeah, yeah. I fully understood what he was talking about. But then, this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just pointing all these areas. So, let it cook fire real fast. It got real hot under there. You can see the lock I'm going for now. Boom. He's got a match. See, that's all steel, so it's not fucking doing it as much, but and it's all paint. I'm doing. <sighs> That's basically it. And then when I put the writing through, it's all hand painted, I think. I put um, old school autos, I think, through the white, and then I'll just burn over it again quickly. This so side's a bit distorted. And that should be it. I think um, it is fully coming to where I want it to be. So next will be uh, the peroxide and vinegar and. Um, I said someone said salt. Uh, we need to do that. So we do is we spray it, and all these will just instantly start rusting. Um, and then they'll leave stains. The rust will leave stains as it runs down. And yeah, all this I'll just do it. It can just do its natural thing. Probably spray a little bit in there. That can be all done as well. Like it's crazy what kind of fix you can do. People are gonna hate so hard what I've done, but um, it's just yeah. It just needs to look like it's just stepped out of fucking hell. <laughs> uh, I got sick. Looks fucking mean. 
wanted me to do. Oh, but you didn't even think it was all fucked up. It was mean, and you started doing nice paint jobs on the KE. It was like, you were, it's all stages. It's all just been stages of it, go. Evolving. And I think just now, it's now become Resurrex. I can still be ADKE, but it's a Resurrex again now. Um, it's the story behind the Resurrex plate. So I made Resurrex when it came back and was turbsed. That was the resurrection of the whole KE. Um, I think now, that's it again, but I'll change those plates over all the time. I'll probably leave ADKE on there, I don't know. But yeah. I reckon it's looking fucked up and looking fucking dope. <laughs> so, um, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to peroxide the next, show you how that works. And that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, and then I'll just hold off until all the suspension is here. Um, and then that'll be the process of that happening. And me welding up in there. Yeah, so yeah, it should be good. Good. <sighs> Alright, let's get some fucking prongs out. What the fuck is going on with this camera? So, yeah, it started on the other side. Um, this phone's having a freaking meltdown. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, starting on the other side. Um, you can hear it working. How soothing is that? Just pure page trip at the end of the bog even, which is cool. But yeah, the side's getting all munched. I just need to get the Ryko off this side and the performance. Um, but yeah, you can see it all starting to munch off. So remember guys, this is the paint scheme. I've had a few messages and people are like, oh, are you, uh, are you doing this and that? And I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the scheme. You can see how hard this whole rear end of this car has been hit, eh? Like, look at that. Both sides of the car are warped. So, yeah, if it ever comes down to me um, fixing it, I'll pretty much just... Um, I'll probably pull out that corner, pull them out, and then I'll just push all those back in. This is all I'll do. But the window's still intact, the back window's lexing. I blew it out last time with a burnout comp at Rapper Nets. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, I managed to fucking take out both ends of this rear end. I'm pretty fucking good at that. But yeah, I think I showed before how bent that is. But yeah, it, it looks level from the back though. That's the main point, main thing. Yeah, you can see it, the fucking... <laughs> but that's why I'm want this to come back like this I I don't even want this car to be pretty again this is exactly how I think it should be I guess it's come full yeah I think I've already explained it how I want it I'm just repeating myself but I'll shush but she said this is all paint stripper again um just in case I haven't I don't know if I remember filming all this to begin with and once that has done its thing um I've got to do all on there. I will then um, get the blowtorch and then blowtorch it. And then we'll use our solution to make more rust. But in that meantime, we'll let, let it naturally do a thing. Because it's naturally um, rusting already on the other side, what I think I'll do is that we'll make our solution, we'll spray it on, and it will... Just speed up process a little bit, but I want the runs. This is all I'm doing. I just want that from the solution to run down on the car. So I'll do that. And then um, I need to still hand paint the side of the car. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try something later on. See if it works on that side. And if it works on that side, that's what's happening on this side. But yeah, keep changing things. Uh, another thing with this style is around because I've had this all rusted out before. I've left all the paint that's in the gutters and then around the window. Last time I removed it all and it started doing some funky shit in there because I've already treated all in there before. Um, I actually epoxied the whole rear end of this car. 
so from the doors, everything back, one door's replaced actually, um, yeah, I epoxied it all, and now I'm going back, because what happened last time, it started getting big pits in the roof, because it was outside, and it started eating through the roof, inside, so I had to fill in a whole lot of shit on the roof, and now I've gone back and done this again, what a dude, but anyway, ah, also, hold on the brake lines, so, got me a T-section, the correct fitment, so you've got three of those, uh, so one, two, three, I'll replace them, change the lines, put them in a nice, put them in a little bit more close way, I'll chop that out first actually so it's done, and then I'll put them in a nice, you know, nice fitting place, uh, as I mentioned I was going to put them inside, but that's, the RX-8 has taught me, no, dumb idea, exposure, so you know if anything happens you can get to it, so yeah, I'll put those through, and then that's all done, um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, let's leave it at that, but yeah, again, just can't get enough how fucking mean it's coming out, but we'll show you how we are going to mix this um, treatment up, and I'll get Annie to spray it on uh, while I work on the other side, uh, while we're doing that, yeah, so there's going to be separate videos too dropped, um, so there's Annie's golf cart video videos, so we've probably figured out by now it's called The Omen because everything everyone's touched with that fucking thing it's just been a fucking nightmare um, and yes yeah, so it's called The Omen um, we've already you've seen the video drop the other day or yesterday or whenever this is dropped the front shocks and I've figured out a plan how to overcome that so yeah, I'll drop that when I do that video, and the other video will be doing uh, Kumi Hot Rod Show's uh, golf cart, the helmet, and the motorcycle tank all at once, and also, uh, if this video is dropped already, the winner from the first um, paint job winner is will be here on Saturday. So I need to actually get that sorted because we need to take my daughter out for her birthday party. Fuck sakes. So I better get time schedules right. Uh, also, yeah, if you've seen this and waiting for stickers, uh, yeah, I've actually had to cut a whole lot more out. Um, so I'll be cutting this night. What you're watching this, they'll be getting cut out. I'll be cutting them. And yeah, shipping them out. I'm a week behind on shipping out. I've told you when I was shipping them out this week, but I'm actually shipping them out the following week. Yeah, it's fucking useless, but yeah, so much on my plate, but I want everyone to get these stickers, your whole lot of stickers, so, yeah. It just doesn't stop. But fucking, this thing's gonna look fucking, <laughs> people are gonna hate it or fucking think, yo, what the fuck, that is murder, yeah? That is murder to me. Anyway, I'm gonna shut the hell up and I'll uh, show you how to make some brake lines, I think, and then, um... Yeah, whatever happens at the end of this video. So it's funny, we did a live. Cuts were like, oh no, some of the stuff about this was hilarious. About how she get this off. It was so funny. But it's kind of made me realise when I go and watch other YouTube channels, I should actually maybe research to see what they do first before I fucking write my stupid comments because I'm well known for writing stupid comments that I should just keep my mouth shut <laughs> but yeah it's still funny so yeah all the Ryko on this is coming off um, they will be put on here somewhere else just not it's the major naming right sponsor. Um, unless they came with a good deal. I want to make things happen. Yeah, fucking hell. We'll be back. But yeah, old school does. There's going to be naming rights on here. Like they, What they've done or doing is just, you know, beyond. So... 
get all this off. And yeah, you can probably hear in the background's dial up. I'm actually uh, finally making more stickers. Don't need to see out there, one. Ah, look how fucking beaten up this is, eh? That's why I think this uh, paint job, I mean, this what I'm doing to it, it, it deserves that because it's just. It's so mongrel. Let's just bring it back, mongrel. And I think if anything, it will probably stay like this for a very long time. Um, no matter what. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to do this and then uh, uh, making the solution uh, to um, make the rust come through, even though it is I've shown you it's coming through hardcore on its own actually. Um, I'm just going to speed it up because as I said I want that run effect. Uh, and the only way to get that is with the solution. So it'll make it rust and the rust will run down the car. Um, yeah, and I need to go buy some uh, paintbrushes. Oops, sorry guys. So I can do the uh, sign writing because I want to do that with my hand. Uh, that'll be in the next video. So the next video should be... I don't know what's going to happen in the next video, in part 3 of Asthmatic. Oh, it's not Asthmatic. Dickhead. ADK. Resurrex. Um, actually, I need to get these seats out. See which ones Annie wants to keep. And then give the rest to old school. And then, yeah. Uh, said they. Again, I'll probably mention this again. All the front end that's coming. It's turning up, and then I go drop those off. So I go hire a trailer, take all that, those two front ends to the other place, and they, I'll just come do their magic, and then, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll do some welding at the front, eh? <laughs> yeah, do some welding. It's all on. I Donkey Kong. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, end of this. We're now rush treating. Actually, I lied. Before we do, I said rush treating, but the rush treatment. Uh, this is how shiny this used to be. <laughs> so yeah, I'm leaving all that how it is, because uh, you'll see on the other side. So this is all overspray. So that's the effect I'm staying on there. Um, I'm leaving all the sticker marks on there. Um, yeah, just so when I put the uh, paint strip on, you just do its effect, you know. But yeah, we're getting there. It's looking cool. Looking cool. Yeah! You like rock and roll? Like this song? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that was such a fun. So much better that you're doing it. I was just nailed it. No, no, you should have done it before. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you got a um mist in there though. What? You got a mist in there because it's all bare steel and hasn't hasn't done anything. Oh, sweet. So yeah, Annie did some um, rush treating last night. Oh, rush treating, fuck with me. Anyway, so it basically speeds up the process, so we're getting runs. This is all I really wanted. So it runs over everything. There's a fucking run effect. That's basically all we're... Because the steel's rusting so hard out. 
we're like sweet we're gonna leave it um what i might do is get some matte clear just because normally i leave my rust i don't give a fuck but just because this is rapidly uh happening naturally it shows that all this the treatments and the shit that's using the steel is now totally gone just from me being meddling it and you know all the other exposures um so yeah i might put some matte clear over it i'll just dab it all on and then i'll burn all the edges up again so you can't see the, the tone and difference but i can have that i can it is this is all natural in the last fucking four or five days it's done this not even outside uh, up here needs the process needs to speed up um but just shows this is a different door i think yeah i think i can remember the other one one of them is a different door <laughs> um but this is what happens when you take a carbide spare steel and then treat it and then do it again it just naturally just goes bonkers anyway Everything's working. Everything's coming out to fucking plan. You know, this side even has like a different effect again. Same process, but it's just coming out differently. Fucking oh, paint, shit. I better clean up in there. Uh, the roof. So yeah, we'll just burn it up some more. Do some more with a boot. Little ProWear logo. So yeah, it's good we're keeping ProWear on uh, this car. And so I was like, yeah, man, fuck, why not? So it's cool. Um, old school autos, see, I did all the old, like, old cool autos. So I've hand painted it, made it rough as fuck. It had to be rough, or else this wouldn't suit it. We've got pen right again. Uh, Ryko, so Ryko will probably come in down here. Uh, we've got new partners like, yeah, Kim, so I'll just chuck Kim's on there. Um, and then, you know, RKM has to go on here. I've talked it out of the wild pet food. They still wish to come on. They've just been so flat out that, um, yeah. I think they're just so busy. I just don't think they're, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Like, the fucking their support has been massive, but, yeah. We've, we're trying to work with big plans with them, but I think they're just so busy. I don't think that's what they would do. Want to continue doing, maybe. I don't know. I need to talk to them. Uh, Tucci tattoos, um, yeah, again, these cats, uh, all the sign writing that has to go on this car has to be matched to the look, we can't have, you know, that's why the stuff at the bottom is getting burnt up and all destroyed, that's why there, I paint, hand painted that, um, that's why I burnt the pen right, you know, and the Ryko stuff, so all the bonnet will get done too. So the bonnet's going to be trickier because it's got layers of paint. Uh, but I'll burn up all that pen right. Distort all the bonnet. But the bonnet hardly even gets chucked on the, this car when it does skids. Um, mainly there for display purposes. Uh, yeah, so... It's just making everything work. I want everything to tie in and not look out of place. Uh, but yeah, so you got a couple of companies to, to deal with. So Tucci, I better get a hold of them, see if they're still interested. Um, and then Kim's are definitely are, because you see we partnered with them with all the work I do. And uh, yeah, see what happens. RKM, I've definitely got to make it bigger. A, a sticker that sticks out more, that silver one's just not cutting the mustard. Um, it needs to come off. Old school, yeah, as you know, they're on. Hi, Paul. Um, yeah, they just help out. Uh, Epic Eyewear, I might leave that on for just for nostalgic things, so you used to be sponsored by them, which was pretty cool. But they sold the business, and yeah. But it's still all good. Um, that's about it. So, let's get figure everything out. Definitely need to get RKM. I might, I might put RKM up here. That'd be pretty cool on the back of the little roof and white and then I can distort it yeah that might be the, the dilio and then I might put two G's in there 
Watch here. We'll see how we go. We'll just see how we go. All right, let's go make some brake lines. So actually, I can't be fucked doing these yet. Um, I'll do them on the suspensions here, actually, so I just know where everything sits. Because um, these are so fucking, fucking mangled and that. Um, yeah, fucking, these are just like, look at that. So where the fuck does these even go? So that's right. And then the left is a different bend. Like it, it's, yeah, it'll just be easier. So what I'll do is, all I've done is I bought, um, this is three eighths, is it? Let's see, three sixteenths. Um, Bundy T section because you know, only running front brakes, so and this actually has a separate bias to run rear brakes, so that's the good thing about it. Um, so yeah, it, it's all plumbed and sealed off. A couple of these bad boys here. Uh, I've just got a fucking cheap one that I bought from uh, this place. Actually, it's got all your fucking dimensions on it. It's a fucking cunt to use, but I've just got a shitty ass fucking um, flaring kit. I like it's nothing flash and I've got one flare tool in there. Fuck's sakes. But yeah, so I've got to find all the other bits to this. Was all chucked in the tool kit thing, but yeah, it's just a basic one. So it's got to find the other flaring because that is actually for. Oh, I don't need to. Yeah, it's got it there. See, so, yeah, flaring on there. Uh, that's just for when you double up, when you want to make it more flatter than that. But as you can see, it's missing them all, but it's sweet. Everything's there. So. Yeah, so I think in the next video, ah, uh, that's when, ah, uh, fucking here, yeah, fucking Molly Nelson, um, once all the suspension's done, oh, <laughs> that's the end of this part of, <laughs> yeah, the stage should be, I, I hope, <laughs> Welding. radiator set up so I want to make it a little bit more um, actually doing a job because <laughs> at the moment it just sits in the boot that scoops here up so we'll show you how the brakes uh, see I can't find there was a light on here <laughs> So what happened is that I have a fake drop tank and um, all the bottoms cut out. So yeah, we're going to seal the diff off as well, only from inside the cab back because it doesn't make any difference from this point on. So I want to try and box off the radiator so it comes up just so these flow because what happens, all the cold air comes up from underneath, cold pressure air comes up through the radiator and then exits through the big hole here and through the tail lights that don't exist. So I'm going to put a brake light in probably along here, just a freaking LED light so that it has brake lights and it can go on the track. Uh, other than that, yeah, fuel system, surge tank, fuel pumps, yeah, all went in here. I don't even remember how the fuck it all went in there. 
because I actually do not remember. But yeah, I remember the fuel cell sits over there and that. But yeah. So that's basically it. The fucking mangalism there. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So yeah, you can always have. Whoa, what's going on here? Hey. Um, you can always have. You can always have a game plan, but it never fucking works. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I might actually start removing stuff out of the RX-8 uh, this week in between these jobs, just so the process starts working, starts moving forward. Anyway, shut the truck up. Let's end this video on what's happened on this so far.